Hey, it's Carrie here with Big Daddy's Barbecue. I'm with Nelson White. We are making a tri-tip, and he gave me permission to open the smoker because I want to see. It's in there. Yeah. This is smelling good. And I've been noticing the little light blue smoke. Yeah, right? so smoke. You want light blue smoke, not white smoke, not black smoke. If it's white, I'm not sure what's going on, but it ain't good. <laughs> <laughs> black smoke means you're getting, you're not getting a good burn. You're getting okay. too much soot, and your meat's gonna be black. And that's that's not good, good to either. know. So blue smoke's that smoke, that thin blue Perfect. smoke. Perfect. So Nelson, we asked all our people on Facebook, according to standard etiquette, what is the one thing you do not do when you go to a barbecue? Well, open somebody else's smoker. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, I just totally. But you give permission. Oh, uh, yeah. The probably the biggest thing you're gonna hear from people is hands off my smoker. That's their yeah. domain. And you know, if they open it and show it to you, that's cool. But don't open another man's smoker or another woman's smoker. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you'll get a lot of agreement there. Yeah. Don't just automatically throw sauce on the meat when it's done. Uh, yeah. Taste it. I mean, because they went to a lot of effort to make it. Now, if it's not good, you might sneak a little sauce on there. But uh, usually, uh, at least try it without the sauce because they put a lot of effort into getting it right. So this weekend is Labor Day. Do you have any Labor Day traditions, um, you know, as far as, far as smoking goes? You know, it's kind of wide open on any holiday. The only one where I kind of get roped into one specific thing is Thanksgiving, and that's turkey. But any yeah. of the other holidays, it's just whatever I feel like. If if I'm gonna be around for a while, yeah. I'll put a brisket on. If yeah. I'm out having fun, I might just I might throw some beer brats on and crank the temperature up. That's the great thing about a pellet smoker is you can go low and slow, or you can go fast and hot. Yeah. Um, so it just kind of depends. On, yeah, it depends on what kind of events we've got planned for the weekend, what we're gonna do for fun. So what are you what are you gonna do for fun? Uh, this I'm not real sure. We're still trying to figure it out. Been working too much this week to really think much about it. But uh, thinking about going up uh, maybe to Montana to do a little four wheeling and yeah. or ATV, and I guess that's a good escape. I love yeah. four wheeling. Yeah. yeah, that's fun. I love the Northwest. It's good. Uh, there's so many great places to go around here. Right? Yeah, it's all shh, shh. You don't tell anyone where you're going. Yeah, it's kind of like don't your tell the world fishing hole. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I noticed a lot of people use Labor Day weekend to shop the sales. Yeah. And if you're watching this, you might be interested in smokers, and you might be in the market for one, but. What if your spouse is not on board? Like, what can you do to tip the Ooh, scales? That's always a rough one. Uh, well, you know, uh, we do a lot of shows. We do a lot of rodeos where we talk to people, uh, where we see customers. And one year they'll come through and, man, I really want one of these, but wife's not going to let me have it. Next year, he's finally got her permission. He buys the smoker. The next year, she comes by and thanks us. Oh, because that's awesome. <laughs> really, I mean, the, the these are so easy to use. They're not dangerous like a gas grill. So you don't mm -hmm. have flare-ups. You're not dealing with gas or propane. Uh, they're they're so simple to use that they end up telling me, go, you know, I bought this for my husband, but I end up using it all the time because it's so easy to use. Right. And so uh, that kind of helps knowing that both people can use it. It's not just his. It can be both y'all's. Right. Uh, yeah. And Share the chore. They're so easy. It's just like a home oven control, so it's not like you're having to learn anything new. And then, plus, you can shove all that cooking off on him. Right. And so you can get him out of the house, get him in the backyard, and have him cook all I think house. that's a no-brainer. I think you have to go, what's in it for them? If you don't have very much time, to smoke or anything. You didn't go shopping, you ran out of butt rub, whatever it is, what would you do? Ooh, I guess I'd head over to Big Daddy's. Big Daddy's, what I mean, would you a order? Great, 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 uh, great place to go and they have good food. Mm -hmm. uh, you know me, I'm a, I have a healthy appetite, so I'd probably get the uh, two meat platter and yeah. get brisket and sausage. Brisket, sausage, I'm mac a, and cheese? I'm a little bit of a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the mac and well, cheese. Well, you're taller than me and I still, you, yeah. And I still would get the two meat plate. Yeah. I, I agree. I'm I like tri-tip. I haven't had the tri-tip there. Tip? I'll have to try it next time. Jalapeno cheddar sausage. Yep. Yeah, I'd do that. Garlic smashed potatoes. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many good things. Smoked green beans, that would be my go-to. And I keep seeing these posts from y'all that make me hungry every time I see them. <laughs> That's what they're supposed to do. <laughs> it works. Awesome. Well, thank you, Nelson. My pleasure. Yeah. Thanks for coming by.